Here's how to use depth effect on your iPhone. Now in iOS 16, a really cool feature is that you can have a depth effect on your lock screen, basically where your image can basically overlay the clock and it looks basically like there's kind of three dimensions on your lock screen. I'm gonna show you how to do that, how maybe some images don't work, some do work, and why those do and don't work. Now the first thing that we can do is hop into settings here and we'll scroll down and tap on wallpaper. Now I'm gonna hit add new wallpaper and I'll show you some images where it does work and where it doesn't work and I'll show you why. So I'm gonna tap on photos at the top left here and let's go to all. Now there are a couple different things. I can choose this photo and you can see that this does not have the depth effect. So it does not have my son's face over that clock. I can hit cancel here and then hit photos again and go to all and let's go to find a different one on here let's scroll through and find a different one let's do one like this now you can see this one does have that you can see basically her face does cover that clock no matter if i move it around so this has the depth effect on there the reason for that difference is i'll hop out of here and show you some information about those two photos so let's go into the Photos app, and I can tap on this photo of my son, and if I swipe up, you can see on here it says the wide camera. That's basically what was used to take this image is the wide camera. So any image that's taken with a wide camera most likely will not have that depth effect. To trigger the depth effect, you have to use portrait mode. So let's go out of here and go to that other image that I just used. This one, you can see at the top left it says portrait, and if I swipe up, you can see on here it has the portrait mode has been enabled. Basically, it has a blurry background on here, which means the portrait mode is turned on and your iPhone can distinguish between the foreground and the background. So if you go back over here and let's hit cancel, the key thing here is that your iPhone is smart and will detect all of the photos that you can use that depth effect with. So if you just tap on people here or weather, let's tap on people, you'll see a bunch of different photos on here and all of these will be with that depth effect working. So you can go through here and choose one of the recommendations that Apple has or your iPhone basically recommends you using. Or if you wanted to always take a new photo, you can always hop out of there and open up your camera and then make sure you go over to portrait mode and take that photo in portrait mode and then you should be able to use that and get that really cool depth effect on your lock screen. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.